Percy's lucky day. One morning, Percy was at Wellsworth Station. He was doing his favorite job, pulling the mail train. The mail for Wellsworth was being unloaded. But Percy was daydreaming as Henry whistled from the other platform. <coughs> Percy mistook a man waving a green handkerchief for the guard waving his flag. And Percy set off too soon. Stop! You're not unloaded yet! Percy had to wait while all the letters were recovered. Oh, Percy, that's bad luck. <laughs> that's not bad luck, is it, Ben? Quite right, Bill. That's carelessness. <laughs> oh, now I'm running late. Percy was hurrying to make up for lost time when he spotted something on the line. Oh, no! Hopkins on the line! Ah! What a mess! And my wheels are all gummed up and sticky. Poor Percy would have to wait until the mess was cleared up. He wasn't having a good day. Oh, Percy, what happened? Oh, hero, I've been running into trouble all day. Don't worry. You're just having an unlucky day. Percy remembered what Thomas had said to him earlier. Oh, Percy, that's bad luck. Bad luck, bad luck. Percy wondered if maybe he was an unlucky engine. At Marin Station, the fat controller had some strong words for Bill and Ben. Your careless work this morning has caused confusion and delay. To make sure no more crates fall off your trucks, one of you is going to have to push from the back. You can be the back engine, Ben. It was your careless driving that caused the crates to bounce off. What? No way! I'm not going at the back. <coughs> OK. At last, Percy arrived at Ulfstead Castle to deliver the mail. He mentioned his bad luck to Stephen. Bad luck? You've still got your four wheels and a full set of pistons. You should count yourself a very lucky engine. I know, but today I... You know, a lot of engines used to worry about being unlucky. Some would carry a lucky charm to bring them good luck. I still have my lucky horseshoe. I could do with some good luck today. I tell you what, why don't I give you my lucky horseshoe? Thank you, Stephen. Thank you so much. I'm sure from now on, I'm going to be super lucky. That's right, Percy. It's bound to make all the difference. Percy's wheels were still sticky from hitting the pumpkins earlier. This made him jump suddenly as he started out of the station. He didn't notice the horseshoe rattle loose. Percy! Hey! Hey, Percy! Oh, dear. The next day, Percy was on time when he went to collect and deliver the mail. And he didn't have any accidents. In fact, Percy was having such a lucky day that the fat controller entrusted him with a really important special. Now then, Percy, I would like you to take this gift from me to the Duchess of Boxford. No problem, sir. As Percy chugged proudly up to the summer house, he put all his good luck down to his lucky charm. Later that day, things were still going well for Percy, but not so well for Bill and Ben. 
This is all your fault, Ben. No, it's your fault, Bill. You were pushing too hard from the back. No, you were pulling too fast from the front. Percy felt even luckier when he saw Bill and Ben. He wanted to help. Bill, why don't you try and pull Ben back to safety? I tried that, Percy, but Ben is too heavy. I'm not heavy. Yes, you are. You weigh tons. Maybe I can pull Ben back. Are you sure you can do it? Oh, yes. I've got a lucky horseshoe. A lucky horseshoe? Where? It's right... Ah! It's gone! Oh, oh no! I'm so unlucky. I've even lost my lucky charm. Oh no, oh no! Hey, what about me? Sorry, Ben. I can't help you now. It's no good, Ben. I'll have to try again on my own. <laughs> Lucky charm or no lucky charm, Bill and Ben need my help. So Percy was coupled up to Ben and he started to pull. Then the fat controller arrived, just in time to see little Percy pull Ben to safety. Thanks, Percy. Yes, thanks, Percy. The fat controller was very impressed. Well done, Percy. Well done. You are a really useful engine. Thank you, sir. Ah. Then Percy remembered something. Goodbye. Now then, you two, who is going to tell me what happened this time? It was your fault, Bill. You tell him. You're the one who came off the rails. You tell him. You pushed me. Ooh. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You did. I didn't. Percy arrived at the Ulfstead Castle grounds. He had to tell Stephen that he'd lost his lucky horseshoe. Your horseshoe brought me luck, Stephen. It was a really lucky charm. But then... I'm so sorry. I lost it. But, Percy, it's here. When you left, you dropped it. You never had it with you in the first place. So, all the good luck I had earlier, delivering the mail and getting the special... That was your own luck. It happens. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. You know, Stephen, I don't think I believe in lucky charms anymore. Well, I don't really believe in lucky charms either. I was just trying to cheer you up. Thank you, Stephen. It worked. Well, that was lucky then. <laughs> <laughs> Percy realised that he didn't need a lucky charm to do his job. He just had to work hard and believe that he could be a really useful engine.